We made it back from the bins and we got some awesome, awesome treasures. Stay tuned for the haul video. Hey guys, my name is Missy and I'm a full-time thrifter, picker, or better yet, treasure hunter. I love finding things that catch my eye and bringing them back to life. You can find me picking garage shells, thrift shops, flea markets, auctions, and yes, even curbs. So come join me on this adventure. Let's do some picking. Hey guys, it's Missy with Junk To Be Loved and I am back with another haul video for you guys today. Um, this is a haul from the previous picking video that I posted a few days ago where I went to the Goodwill bins and I really scored this time, you guys. I got some amazing things. Um, if you did not watch that picking video, uh, go back and watch it because one of my favorite, favorite things that's going to stay in my collection, um, I found out of the Goodwill bins. I literally ran to the Goodwill bins for it. And it, it's right up there with this, my buddy right here with my top favorite things that I found. So we will get right into the haul. Okay, the first thing that I picked up was this awesome, awesome ruler box. I love it. I love rulers and numbers and somebody made it into a little box. You could hang this on your wall and put little tiny smalls. I guess, it, I don't know, you'd have to put it that way if they're taller, but you could do whatever. I love it. It's a ruler box and it's so cool and neat and I love the advertising and the numbers. And so I picked that up. And then I found my son, which is awesome because he just came over a couple days ago and was asking if I had any Tupperware because he wanted to start doing some meal prepping. And I found this brand new set in the Goodwill bins. Um, somebody had just taken it out of the box and I like, I'll take it. These look like they've never been used ever. They look brand new. And I'm like, I'll just run them through the, uh, dishwasher or you know wash them in my sink real quick for him and hand them over but there's four of them there's four containers and they're slotted so I picked those up for my son and then I picked up this cute little squirrel needlepoint it's so adorable and I believe this is claimed already sassy here is a picture for you but I will send you another one through email and then there's the back it's so cute this would look so cute on anyone's gallery wall just because it's so small it's just a little one so if you had a little space on your gallery wall this would be perfect for it it's a squirrel and oh I forgot did I even tell you guys my total spend was $31 um I don't know if I said that at the beginning. If you can't tell, I am, a, I have a cold. I have a terrible, terrible cold. Um, so I've just stayed home for the past two days because it's been cold and crappy and rainy here in Iowa. And I haven't been feeling the best. So that's why I'm getting the haul video out late as well. But anyways, my total spend was $31. I spent $31 on all this stuff. And I picked up this. It is like a coffee mug holder, but you could use this for a jewelry display or a scarf display or pretty much whatever you wanted to hang. It's a wooden, um, a vintage wooden coffee thing. And it's in really good shape too. No, it's not wobbly or anything. It's a nice piece. And we'll sit that there. And then I picked up Lamb Chop Play Long, where kids come to play long. I love it. I love Lamb Chop. I love this. Oh, and it still works. It's a puppet. It's Lamb Chop. I'm a puppet. Squeeze me. I say nine phrases. So stinking cute. And somebody was selling it for $20.
I love lamb chop. I love you too. <laughs> so I was really happy to pick up that puppet. And then I found this. I love this. It is a vintage Fisher Price fire truck. It's the wooden, the old wooden one with the little people. See the, it's got the fireman in it. And what's awesome is this ladder extends. It does, it still works. Well, maybe, there we go. It still extends out. How stinking cute and adorable. I absolutely love this. And like I said, it's the vintage Fisher Price. I'm not exactly what, for, sh for sure what year. It says patent pending, made in USA. Fisher Price Toys, Inc., East Aurora, New York. And that's all it says. But it needs a little bit of dusting, but it's so cool. It's a wooden Fisher Price fire truck, little people fire truck. So stinking cute. And then I found some Mulla art. Now I know this stuff is really, really collectible and can sell really well. This is like from Panama, it's the native art. Um, Mulla art, I believe it's what it's called. M-O-L-A, and I was really excited to find these in the bins. The backs st are, they're still in pretty good condition with the paper, the original paper on the back. And these would fit on anyone's gallery wall really perfectly. And like I said, I think this is really collectible and popular. So I will put comps on the screen if I find, if I find any, but again, so stinking cute and adorable, right? So I was happy to find those. And then I picked up this guy and I just couldn't leave him behind. Um, he, whoops, there we go. His hat came off. He is an elf, but he, is that Michigan or I don't know. What is that? It's an M, so... It could be, is that Minnesota or is it Mississippi? I have no idea. I'm not good with sports. And so I just thought he was so sticky cute in his, his ears and he barely weighs anything. And I just didn't want to leave him behind. Hopefully somebody will want him. He's so stinking cute. So, oh, as always, if there, if you want him, if there's anything that his hat needs to reattach, but... Um, if you want him or if there's anything that you guys are interested in that I find, you can always send me an email. My email is junktobeloved at gmail.com, all lowercase letters. The link is also in the description below as well. Um, a lot of the things that you see me pick up are for sale. Like I'll list them on eBay or on Marketplace or have them in my live sale. But most everything is for sale unless I tell you I'm keeping it. And I think there's only one thing out of this trip that I'm keeping. And then one thing I'm giving away to my dad. But then I found this. This is so much fun. This, I can't believe how, what good of condition this is in. It, look at those. It doesn't have any rust. This is all metal. Oops, sorry, I had it upside down. And it's still in really, really, really good condition. Like, really nice shape. And it's from 1963. I couldn't believe how nice of shape this is in from being from 1963. Like, it has barely been used. And I absolutely love it. I thought it was adorable. It's not that tall. Um, you know, shipping through uh, USPS shouldn't be that bad. So, where I'll probably list this is on Facebook Marketplace. Because that's where it gives me the option. To ship through UPS. I think that's what I said. Not USPS. UPS. So shipping through USPS will be a little bit more expensive because it's taller. But USPS shouldn't be that bad. Or uh, UPS shouldn't be that bad. <laughs> oh. And then I found this Mr. Froggy with his googly eyes. 
he's got googly eyes and he's stinking cute and adorable. He is an autograph frog. So cute. And it's got the little girl's little girl's name right there in it or lady's name or whoever, I don't know, but it says Mimi. Oh. And it's so cute. It's a plaid frog plush with googly eyes. Fun. Fun, fun. Okay, and then the last thing in the first sack is this little game. You guys seen me pick this up. It is a Tommy Rocket Tower game. Um, did the batteries die? It did work. It did spin around. Huh. Oh, there we go. You have to turn it. I don't know. You have to turn it somehow. Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to figure it out, but it is um, Skill Squares Rocket Tower. See, and it's a vintage Tommy. It didn't weigh anything. It was the first thing that I seen, and I probably would have ended up, if I would have remembered it was in my cart because it was at the bottom, um, I probably would have checked it out more and then threw it back. But Okay, now... On to my favorite, favorite thing. That is staying in my personal collection. He's actually going to have a home um, on the stand next to my Rushton elf. I love this. When I seen them wheeling out the glass carts, because they put, they try to separate the glass as much as they can and put them in boxes and then put the boxes in bins, which is amazing. Thank you, Goodwill, for doing that. You guys are awesome. Um, I love it that they do that. So it just is not mixed up with all the rest of the stuff. So thank you again, Goodwill. We, us shoppers truly appreciate it. Well, I know I do at least anyways, but when I seen them wheeling it out and I was walking over to it and then I seen this sitting on the top of the bin and I'm like, whoosh, and I seriously jetted, I ran to the car and I'm like, oh, I was standing right in front of him, like, I see what I want first. Um, and I, nobody else, everybody was, like, on the other side of the bins because there were not a lot of people looking in the glass bins. And so I got it. I grabbed it, and I was so excited. Look, you guys, it's a devil. It's like a vintage devil planter. It's so cool. See, it's got, the like, the drainage thing in the bottom of it. But what's really neat about it is, like, it's that's it's all covered up it's weird so i don't know it does have a hairline crack i don't care because i'm not going to use it as a planter it's going to stay in my collection and stay on my stand it is a i love it you do not well at least in my area anyway i don't find devil stuff very often like vintage devil stuff and when you do find it i find it at antique stores and it's always a very 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 expensive um and so i have to leave it behind and but i paid I, this probably weighs less than a pound so i paid probably about a dollar for this and I would have paid more because I love it. It's so stinking cute and adorable. Actually, I probably wouldn't have paid much more because he is missing cold paint, a lot of cold paint. But I just, I just say that because I just love him so much. He's so stinking cute. So he will be staying in my collection. We're going to set him right here for now. There he sits. Okay, so then, Luke, can you not try to be so loud, please? And then uh, my friend Greg gave me these. He found these in the bin, and I he didn't want them, and he gave them to me, and I was happy to take them. This one I got to find a cardboard backing for 
but these are the rotating antique picture frames. They are absolutely amazing. This one sits up and down and rotates like that. As you can see, it tilts. So nice. It's got very nice design. It's such a beautiful, beautiful piece. I was very happy when he gave this to me. And then here's the back. It's just missing a little bit of paint right there in the corner. But like I said, I got to get a cardboard back. Other than that, I love it. And then the other one, I'm going to lay these down up here. The other one tilts from the side. Or rotates, I guess. Rotates from the side like this. So, that's unique. Usually you see them like up and down like that. Not side to side, but very unique and awesome. And I love the wood frame. Such a nice piece and really nice design. So, I was happy to take those. And again, like I said, I only spent $31 on all this stuff that I'm showing you. And then I was really, really happy to find this until a subscriber <laughs> commented on the video and said, Missy, is the San the Jim Shore Santa supposed to be holding a goose and it's missing its head? And I looked and she's right. It's missing his head. I didn't even notice when I picked him up. Um, I didn't even notice he was, I thought he was holding a present is what I thought he was holding. I didn't know he was holding, it was a, a goose or a duck or whatever. So, unfortunately, yeah, I'm not going to be able to, I'll, if I sell him in a live sale, uh, he's probably going to go into a mystery box, probably more than likely, unless you're interested in him. Like I said, you can always send me an email, junktobeloved at gmail.com if you are interested in him. So, and he still has his tag. But the head is missing. <laughs> Off the goose. Unfortunately. And then this I'm going to gift to my father. He is a PBR drinker. And this is like a brand new koozie. Super nice. Mm, doesn't weigh anything. So I picked that up for my dad. And then I found this awesome vintage Christmas stocking. I love it. I mean, you it don't hey, I have to be for Christmas. You could put it up all year round if you wanted to. Look at that fancy boot. I absolutely love it. But if you wanted to use it as a stocking, you could. Because it is a stocking. You can hang it up. I love it, though. I love the shape of that boot. <laughs> so I picked up that. And then I picked up this weird thing. It is a ashtray, ash can ashtray, flips open with cigarette fill automatic place. It's Hong Kong. The box said Hong Kong, so that's why I picked it up. Um, I will take it out and we will look at it together. I don't even think I've took it out of the box. I just seen the box said Hong Kong. What do you do? Is it broken? I think actually it might be broken. I don't know, maybe maybe not, maybe those go in there. Oh yeah, no, it's not broken. I don't know. Oh. And I guess you just flip it open. And you snap it shut. Now I can't get it closed again. Oh, there we go. And it just pops open. Weird. I don't know. <laughs> it's a novelty piece, I guess. I'm spending too much time on this darn stupid trash can. So we're moving on. But that, I picked up that trash can, that novelty piece. Um, again, something that could go in a, in a mystery box, whatnot. Then I found more of these butterflies. 
And I am actually going to put these with, um, I found two more last week and of this same design. And so I'm going to put them with them. So it's going to be a set of five metal butterflies. And do you know what you could do with these? If, um, you like butterflies and gold isn't your color, you could easily just get a can of spray paint, whatever color you like, and easily just spray paint them. I recommend using Rust-Oleum. Um, that's the best spray paint. I used to redo a lot of furniture and I would use a lot of spray paint and stuff and Rust-Oleum is the best, but you could spray paint these any color that you want and then just get, go to your like Dollar Tree or thrift store and get a frame the size that you like and shape and then paint that frame whatever color you want and just stick the frame by itself the wood frame without glass or anything on your wall and then stick the butterfly in the middle and that would make a fun gallery wall a wall of butterflies so i got those i'm gonna set those with the other ones right there and I picked up these, these, I found these, is there only three? I thought there was more than three. I thought there was four, but maybe there wasn't. Maybe there wasn't. I guess there's only three, but they're glass swivel sticks and they're ducks. I thought they were so cute and fun and they're glass. You guys know I like my glass. So of course I picked these up and rescued these from the Goodwill bins. And then I found two trolls, which I have a couple other trolls. I'm just going to lot these all up in a lot on Marketplace. They're treasure trolls. Made in China. Most of them are made in China, except for the damn ones. I don't know if the damn, where the damn ones are made from, the D-A-M ones. But I picked up those trolls. I picked up this cute little left-in bluebird. He's adorable, fit in with anybody's little display. He's just a tiny little, a tiny little figurine. And he's got his original left-in sticker. And he doesn't have any broken petals or wings or anything like that. As far as I've seen, I didn't even notice about the Jim Shore. That's a bummer. Um... And I actually, I take that back. See, I have a hard time seeing in the bins. This one has been repaired. I can see that he has been dropped and repaired, but it's, I can see it. It's hard to see on camera. So, so again, something that may just go into a mystery box. I like putting little figurines and stuff into mystery boxes. This guy was adorable. I found him in the bottom of a box. He's a single shaker. And I just thought he was a cute little man. This cute little owl. Cute little figurine. What's that say? Made in Taiwan. I thought he was adorable. I like his little eyes. Or his big eyes, I guess. And then this plastic Lucite Angel. Adorable with the halo. And then I found this. Now, I picked up this. I like picking up glass. I've said this a million times. Um, but not too long ago at the Almost Free Shop, I found a glass plate, and it was signed Higgins Glass. And I picked. I paid a little bit more for it. I think I paid $10 for it and brought it home, listed it online, and sold it within one day for $99. And it was a similar, almost exactly like this, except for it had a triangle. And now I don't know if this is called fused glass. What it, like, I'm not exactly for sure. I'm going to have to do a little bit more research. But it does have little feet. And it isn't signed as far as I could see. But you guys know my eyes aren't the best. But there's the bottom. It's kind of got that rough texture feeling but this inside is all smooth so i picked up that 
And then I did end up picking up this because all my little stuff was inside of it. And I'm like, why not? You know, I'll just use it as a little catch-all when I'm shopping and it doesn't weigh anything. So it's nice. This is actually, I mean, it does have some wear on the bottom rim, as you can see. But that's just on the bottom rim. And then a little bit of fading right there on that spot but most of the color is still pretty good and blue on one side red on the other and this is eight cups you guys eight cups usually you don't find them i don't find them this big i've found the biggest i found was like four cups and this is eight so that's awesome if you were a baker that will come in handy and I picked up this vintage mirror. It needs cleaned up a little bit. It's a little bit dirty, but it's in really nice shape. Other, I mean, it's got a little bit of wear, but it's not broken. A lot of the times when I find these mirrors, they'll be all broken or have crack, and this one does not, and it's beveled. It is beveled glass. It is the thick, nice, older glass with the metal handle. And then I picked up my dog, which I know she won't wear them. Um, and I probably will not try to put them on her, so I'll probably just go ahead and try to sell these. But they are adorable. They're little dog boots, you guys. <laughs> They're so stinking cute. They're a size extra small, so they are the size for my Gracie. But she won't wear shoes or boots or nothing like that. She'll just... If I put her even in a sweater or a jacket, she'll just stand there like a statue forever and literally not move for like probably an hour if I left it on her. She won't move. She won't move until it gets taken off. But these are in really, really, really good condition. Almost brand new. I don't know if they've ever been worn. Cute little extra small doggy boots. So if you were in the market for doggy boots, you know where to come. And then I rescued this. I was so happy when, okay, so when I was digging in the bins, um, the new bins, let me see if I can get that, there we go. This head was laying in the bottom of the bins by itself. And I'm like, oh, he's unique looking. He went to something. So I was digging and digging and digging and then I found his picture. And he do, is in really, really, really good condition, you guys. He has no chips or cracks. He's like a little creamer, I think, maybe. But see how there's a hole in the fish's mouth so he can just pour out. And then there's the bottom. Let me see if I got that right. Oh, no, here we go. There's the bottom. Cute, right? To Stacy from Mammer, E. Charlotte, comma, Claggett, 1990. I love it. It's a kitty and a fish creamer. <laughs> Look at its eyes. It's just so much fun. So I found that. Then I found this guy, and he's unique and weird, and I wish he had an, a signature so I knew who made him, but he does not have any signatures. He's like that pottery, like clay pottery maybe. He's uh, not light, but not heavy. I think if you dropped him, he would probably break. I don't know anything about him. He is just stinking awesome. Such a cool, little, unique piece. Something that you definitely, definitely don't see every day. That is for sure. <laughs> and then I found myself a couple t-shirts. NASA! I like comfy t-shirts. I'm a t-shirt wearing gal. And then this one will probably be like a pajama shirt. Um, and they don't barely weigh anything. But it says chillin'. And it's a penguin. And these are super, super soft. And the material that I absolutely like wearing. So, and they barely weigh anything. So I definitely picked those up. Usually I don't buy clothes at the bins. But I think I was just browsing through and waiting for them to bring out new bins. 
And then there's this guy. I love him. He is really, really, really unique and awesome. And I have no idea anything about him. If you guys know anything about this, let me know. Okay, look. Here's, it's like, there's his face. And it is signed. I thought it was signed by the artist somewhere. Oh, yes, right there. It is signed by the artist. And this is, it's heavy. It's a heavy clay piece. There's the bag. And it sits flat so you could hang it on the wall. But again, I, this is art, you guys. This is art. I know to some of you it may be really creepy and weird, but I've never seen a piece like this before and there was no way in heck I was going to leave it in the bins to get all broken and ruined because it is in really, really good shape. There's no chips or cracks on it. Um, maybe one tiny little flea bite right there on his eyelash or eyebrow. You can't hardly see it. Look at his face. That is just really weird. I love it. I like picking up weird things. So tell me what you guys think about him. I think he's awesome. Okay, and then now we are on to the last sack. I found, which I forgot to look these up before I bought them, but they don't barely weigh anything, so I guess, you know, if they don't sell, then I'm not really out a whole lot. But it is a bag of the helmets. Now, I there is, now I know this is controversial to some of you, um, or to some people, but I don't mean it to be, so I'm not a racist person at all. I love everybody, but look, there's a Cleveland Indians, um, little helmet, and I know they are no longer a team. So, I don't know, if you guys know anything about the mini helmets, let me know, because I found a bag of them here. And then I found Odie. I love this Odie. And he's like in brand new condition. His fur is so stinking soft still, you guys. He has his original tag, that one, and this one. And he is from, I couldn't believe it. He's from 1978. The tag says 1978. I hope it's focusing. I couldn't believe it. I'm like, from 1978? No, and look at his long tongue. Oh, I love it. I could, I'm like, that's, whoever had this kept this in like pristine condition because he is super soft. The tag, you can tell, is older. He, it is an older tag. Yeah, it don't have, it's a product of Korea. It's a Dankin company, our Dankin company. Love it. And I love Odie. I know Garfield stuff is very collectible. And so this was a really awesome find because it's like brand new. And then I found this piece of art. Now this is really unique and cool. Somebody made this. I Like I said, I like picking up things that I don't see very often. And it is a person riding a bicycle and it really spins. See their legs move. See that? See their legs moving? <laughs> and it's neat. It's really, really neat. And it's on a stand so it can just sit, sit in art. Or you can bend it back and actually use it like a push-pull toy if you wanted to. Or you could just sit it on your stand and use it as art because it's very unique and... Something that you don't see every day, that's for sure. Isn't that neat how the legs move? And they got leg warmers. See the leg warmers? <laughs> oh, I love it. I crack myself up. I'm easily entertained. 
Then I found some fun, fun, fun stickers. I love these. I love the colors. I love the sayings. Dare to be different. Show your true colors. Different is beautiful. You are amazing. Be bold. Be you. Dare to be different. Show your true colors. And so on and so on. I love them. So, you know, of course, I picked up these awesome vintage stickers out of the Goodwill bins. I will probably put these on my packages or sell them. Who knows? I love them. But the last thing that I found out of the Goodwill bins was this awesome, 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 and it's in great condition, vintage quilt. This is stunning, you guys. It is absolutely beautiful and gorgeous. Do you see how the edges are? Oh, it is a beautiful, beautiful vintage quilt. And it's like I said, it's in really good condition. It look, I don't know. I'm thinking that's just. That was on the patch. That was a polka dotted patch. Yeah, because it's got a couple other ones that are like that. I thought those were stains, but it's not. That's a polka dotted patch. See, you can see where it's sewn and it's round. And then there's another one over here. But it's so beautiful. What do you guys think? This was, and this was in the new bins in the hard goods. This was at the folded up and it was at the bottom um, in the hard goods. And I've seen this and I grabbed it really, really fast. I think it's absolutely stunning and gorgeous and beautiful. I can't get over it. So yes, I believe it doesn't have any, I folded it out. It doesn't have any rips, tears or stains. And so, yeah, I was really happy to rescue that out of the Goodwill bins. I'm sure if I wouldn't have, somebody else would have. But I'm glad I got to it first. All right, guys. Well, that was my total haul. That was everything I got for $31. Not bad. Um, what do you guys think? What was your favorite thing that I found out at the Goodwill bins? Comment below and tell me what your favorite thing was that I found. Um... Like I said, as always, if there's anything that you guys are interested in, feel free to send me an email. My email is junktobeloved at gmail.com. All lowercase letters, no spaces. The link is also in the description below as well. I also list on eBay and Facebook Marketplace, and those links will be in the description below as well. And a lot of the things you see me pick up will be available in my live sales. So make sure you hit that bell button so you're notified every time I go live and when I post a new video. I do host my live sales on my YouTube channel um, every Sunday evening at 6 p.m. Central Time. So make sure you hit that bell button so you receive notifications when I go live and have my live sales. So... All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed the haul video and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And as always, keep smiling and happy picking. Bye, guys. Hey, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to like, share and subscribe. And until next time, keep smiling and happy picking.